Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your Love and Finance Tarot Guidance for the month of January 2018. Before I be begin, there's a couple things that I want to say. This Love and Finance Tarot Guidance has been the centerpiece of all of my guidance since October, I believe, or November of 2015, if I remember correctly, okay? And, you know, it's with great sadness that I have to say that this may very well be the last one that I do that makes its way onto some of social media. It, I will still be doing it. It will still be available. But, you know, if you notice when you see, uh, you know, posts from other pages where they say the difficulties that they're having, you know, this is one of those posts that really needs to be seen more. And unfortunately, I don't think it is. So, you know, with that being said, somewhere around mid-January or so, you'll see me come out with uh, probably a newsletter, which will outline any social media changes and tell you where and how you can find this post because it will continue. Okay, if you don't currently receive an email from me, then go to tarabycecilia.com and sign up for emails because whatever I do send out, it will come through the blog and then it will be available in other places to read as well. Okay, so now let's get down to this. First of all, Happy New Year. We're beginning a new month and a new year as this begins, even a new week. And this is an interesting month indeed because the month kicks off on the first with a full moon in the sign of cancer and then on the second we will see our last retrograde planet being uranus go direct and for anyone who is wondering what that means we will have a clear and open road until jupiter goes retrograde on march the 8th so we have some really good energy coming in here on the 10th mercury will leave shadow we'll be all done with that then on the 11th, Mercury enters the sign of Capricorn. So there'll be a great deal of Capricorn energy that's around for us to work with, to really get things done, take on a very serious approach to the new year. On the 16th, there will be a new moon in Capricorn. Then on the 17th, Venus enters the sign of Aquarius, followed on the 19th by the sun entering Aquarius. On the 26th, Mars will leave home sign of Scorpio, where it's been working very hard to help you make progress and move on into the sign of Sagittarius. On the 31st, we will have the first of two eclipses. It will be a full moon total lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo. And yes, I did say total. And also on the 31st, Mercury enters Aquarius. You know, as the month begins, the year begins here, it feels as though if there was anything in life that didn't feel fair, where you were disappointed, where, you know, in spite of arguing your case, you felt like you were not heard and things did not go your way. There is this whole shift in focus, which is coming, okay? And it's toward your happiness. It's toward your security. And there's a great deal around family as well uh, i don't know maybe there were some broken relationships there's something going on there but there's tremendous victory that's coming your way you know like where you're finally and it could be all of that direct motion that's going on where you know you're taking back your power in life and you're really feeling you know it's like there's no challenge too big hmm so it, it's like the year starts and you're kind of like off with a vengeance, all right? January, you're determined to get things done. And you know, you're probably saying, Cecilia, it's like that every year, January 1st rolls around, the ball drops, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and it just never materializes. This year, the energy is really working in your favor. You know, you have a time frame here, like I said, Jupiter doesn't go retrograde until March the 8th. And I don't remember any other planets really following suit until maybe April. 
So you have three months here, basically, to really get things rolling, to get things done, to give you cause for celebration, okay? You're going to be, you know, the kind of like that jumping for joy and proud of yourself at what you've accomplished. The, there's the, that desire for, I want to say in spite of all the change that there's been, and there's been a great deal, that you still want it's almost like not so much that you've been asking for a big transition in your life, but you just want to know what's in that new part. How do I get to it? Because you kind of had the, like all those hopes and dreams and it's been a little bit foggy. That fog is going to clear. Okay. And then you're off. You're off in pursuit. It's a lot of work. Okay. You might feel as though you're not getting the assistance that you want from other people, but the universe itself, I think it's got your back. So this is change that you can handle. Now, as January begins, even with all the progress that you've made, there's a lot of progress that's here. There's a lot of progress that's going to take place, but there is still a situation, which I don't think plays out right away. It may be that between March and June thing where it's really going down. All right, but the position that it leaves you in is one where it's not so much that you're stuck because I don't think you're stuck anymore like you were before, but you kind of feel like there's that one thing. Well, all right, I will just bide my time, maybe even ignore that until it goes away because eventually it will. I think that you're limited in what you can say and do about it. So, you know, if you're like, just having to be nice or mind your P's and Q's in January, February, I'm thinking that after March, you're getting back in control, okay? And it's not in a controlling way. It's just not feeling like, you know, say you have a bad situation, whether it's within the family, within work, within a relationship, and you know that in order to get to your goal, in order to get to what it is that you want to see happen in your life, to get to your future, that you're better off if you don't say anything about it, okay? It happens, all right, it happens. I think we had a, a, something going on last year. Who knows, could even still be the same thing, maybe in a different form, but so much other stuff has happened now. And like so much of it is just water under the bridge because you've really taken on this new persona. I think it's one that feels much more relaxed as you come into January, okay? And, you know, your big focus is toward your hopes and dreams, is toward your future. And assembling, you know, not just plans, but whatever it takes to put it into effect. I say by June, you know, to really make it happen. And it's kind of like behind the scenes some of what's going on. So I don't think that you're ready to unveil this yet. I think you're definitely working on it because what I see here is that it's kind of involved, you know, there's some reason that it's involved that you, whatever you have to do, there's a lot of work involved, but you're going to keep on plugging away at it until you've got it done. So, you know, you're definitely getting there. Let's put it that way because it definitely feels like you know, something within the status quo that is not, you know, you're not happy with it. But I think also you're, you're just kind of like on the fence. Like, what am I supposed to do? You're back and forth, you're back and forth. And I don't think you, you've quite figured it out yet, but you're about to, I think in the first eight weeks of the year, isn't that something where we have all of that motion there? Okay. But you're going to go over it very carefully. You know, like with a fine tooth comb, all of your facts that help put you in a position to move forward so you can take charge. So you most definitely are. All right. I'm, I'm loving this. All right. Because with all of this goal oriented energy around, you know, as you start with all this Capricorn energy, let's not forget that you also have Saturn in Capricorn. So Saturn's at home. There's, you know, a, a, I think a much better place for most of you with that to be able to work with it to be able to achieve the rewards that you need 
you know, this month, I feel like there is more of that moving ahead, like moving ahead with all the things where you had plans, where you know what you're working on, the list that you have. And I think that when we get to next month, we're going to see more decisions coming up where, you know, probably we have to decide, all right, now, which way do I want to go to handle this? How am I going to do it? Which, which direction am I going to take? So, you know, this month is more about taking all of the grounded energy, just really, you know, see, as you reassume your power, you can't quite just go off recklessly either. Okay. You really have to be, I think, very focused toward what you're working on because there's so much wonderful energy that's available to you. And I like this a lot. I really truly do. You know, there's this, this where in January, so many people have, um, you know, a focus toward health issues, diet regimens, things of that nature. You know, remember, listen also when I do the full moon tarot guidance on Patreon and YouTube. And that does tell you if your sign has, you know, like a, a little bit of an edge when it comes to that and what's going on but i see that getting a handle on things all right in spite of worry because i think that you know and it's sad to say but in this day and age um and i don't want to get into it with my opinions of the medical community or, or big pharma but i think so many people suffer from forms of anxiety which are being treated through you know, medication, etc., And I think that there is a need here to, to strike a balance with what I'm seeing in the cards, you know, to just get a handle on everything in your life. So I think as you reassume your power and you, you know, you can also at that time do things that are better for your own health. And I highly recommend looking for whatever natural forms you can use at the time of the new moon in Capricorn on the 16th. All right, that's just a new moon. But the one following the full moon, total lunar eclipse in Leo on the 31st, all right, that one's an eclipse. So from really the point of the new moon, you're entering eclipse season, okay? And it's the first eclipse season of the year. Like right off the bat, the universe says, let's create some change so things are really going to start moving and shaking as early as mid-january here you are with all this non-retrograde energy and boom 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 you know you're tackling your list and the universe says let's just throw some more in there let's just make more change and that's why sometimes you know you don't know exactly where you're headed you know what i'm saying so like next month when we have a second eclipse which will be february 15th you know there's going to bring up things that's why i think next month is going to be more about choices so as you work on what you know this month by the second half of february you're going to be like okay i need to be deciding now i need to be figuring out what it is that comes next hmm. so this I, I think even more so this year, but starting off this month, there is a need to learn something. I, I have been feeling this very strongly. You know, there are connections to be made, new relationships to be formed. You know, you have to remember we're in, we're in a good time now for forming new relationships and new bonds with others because we don't have, you know, Mercury retrograde or Venus retrograde going on so uh, i'm seeing a lot happening in this area up through the full moon on the 31st and i'm liking this okay you know there there's definitely more balance that wants to come in in january all right there is still that not not so much that thinking that the other shoe is going to drop but sometimes you wonder you know is this change really going to last you know where you feel like you should be looking over your shoulder but i think it would do everyone well to decide to learn something new this year 
It could be a new hobby, a new craft, a new form of social media, more, uh, I, I, I don't know, I really think it's technology related. I don't know why, but I've been feeling that very strongly, that people will do well to know more about how things work. And it, it's sometimes having the knowledge doesn't mean that it's applicable in daily life, but knowing it somehow serves you well in the long run. So keep that in mind. Now, there's also, you know, things are getting brighter as as the year opens up, as time moves on. And there is a, a particular, I want to say relationship, it doesn't have to be a loved one, but a particular relationship that you start thinking differently about. Okay. I'm not sure what that means, because I think it depends upon the relationship. But I think if it was one which was like, I want to say on hold for a really long time. And then you're like, hmm, okay. Well, my life's feeling more stable now. Let, let me, let me think about this. Let me, let me see. I think in April, you will know more about it. So it may be brought to your attention in February and you may be viewing it differently. But, you know, we always have to remember that in any relationship, we're only one part of it. So whether it has to do with, you know, work, family, love, anything, there's always that other side. But something by February, no, I'm sorry, by April is what I'm trying to say, really brings about the difference. Um, and here's August wanting to show up. See, there, there, there's a big change that's trying to come this year and we're only at the beginning of the year okay giving birth to a whole new phase so it's not just a new year a new month it's a new month that's starting a new year that's bringing in energy where lo and behold you can actually get things done and i think that it, as long as you focus on let me put it this way if you focus on the things in your life that pertain to you, and this is important, and this is this is going out to many of you out there, all right? Focus on the things in your life that stand in the way of you moving ahead, maybe moving, period, whatever it is, okay? The universe is taking care of the rest of it, okay? So if you're looking for love or anything else that you were... You know, there's another party involved in this. And you're looking for the success with that particular relationship. Don't be focused on that, okay? That's not where your focus goes. Your focus goes on you. Let's say that you're married. And you really want to be with so-and-so over there. You're so sure it's the right thing. You need a divorce. Who knows? Maybe even they need a divorce. But that's none of your business. Okay? That's their business. That's what they have to focus on. What you have to focus on is what's in your life where you need to move on. Okay? Because you've already made all these changes. You're already in this new part. So what you work on now, what you make happen, brings you to the, that like April, May, June where it's like boom, boom, boom. Because March, April, May, the doors start opening. And in June, you're there. In June, you're making it happen. So this energy that you have now is very important. You need to really, you know, focus in on what it is that you need to create. Not allow yourself to be, um, what's the word I want to use, you know, indecisive that type of thing and i think that this is around the time of the new moon okay where some of this is coming in so you know it, focus is very important people and very often people are blinded by what is not within their control what you have now is so much that you've regained control of that you are able to gain control of and the things that you're able to set in motion. They are the things that require your focus now. Not the things that other people need to do. Like I said, those other things, they're none of your business. 
by April, by June, you're going to start to see as it unfolds where there is that opening where things begin to come in. So as long as you take your list and work on your life, you're going to make tremendous progress. And this month, the universe has something wonderful to offer you. Okay. And it, it's really that just, I almost want to say cutting away the past and coming up with all of this creativity and great ideas that there's just, you know, the struggles are gone, the, the hardships are gone. It's time to move forward, but move forward with the understanding of what it is that you can do for you. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. Again, please check my blog to see when I come out with an announcement as to any social media changes for this year. Thank you again and take care and thank you for being here.